Hello everyone, uh, it is Alex. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul for you guys. As you guys know, I am such a fan of the community tab on my YouTube channel and I love the interaction there that I have with you guys, your input. And on there I have posted whether you guys were interested in seeing what came into my collection before the holiday season, before any gifts were opened, before any packages had arrived. I had taken advantage of some sales. Um, I did not take advantage of anything on Black Friday or Cyber Monday because we were literally moving into this house. But there were some things that I wanted to get. There was a 25 off of 75 for Sephora. I did not get anything during the VIB sale period. So they had sent me like that 20% off one more time kind of thing. So I took advantage of that because there were certain things that I did want. I also um, submitted my points to get a hundred dollar gift card from Sephora so I used that and I had a ton of Ulta points as well as literally like three different 20% off coupons so all of this stuff I got relatively cheap um, if not for free kind of in a way um, uh, so this is trips to the drugstore Sephora Ulta and I also want to add that my friend Drea here on YouTube um, if you follow her, you are well aware that she also moved. She moved across the country. And uh, she had messaged me that there was a few things that she was wondering if I was interested in that she no longer wanted in her collection. And I said, absolutely, there was a few things. And when she sent me the package, I did not expect the amount of things. Because she only showed me a few things, but it was a lot more than what she showed me. And it was so kind of her, so nice of her. She did not have to do this. She could have very well sold some of this stuff and got money for it, and she didn't. She had given it to me, and you guys, it, it just boggles my mind to think, like somebody that I've never met thinks about me like that. And it just, it truly, truly uh, just melts my heart and makes me realize that there are so many people out there that have such kind hearts that are willing to, you know, not care about the cost. Because believe me, I have had other people where it's just been, where I've never asked for anything, but they're willing to sell it to me even though they got it themselves for free. So um, it's just very sweet of her to do. She did not have to do this at all because I know some of these are like, oh, and some of these I've never owned, obviously. I've never owned some of these. It's it, it's a lot. And I have a feeling that I didn't pull... Th this package came... I know this is long. This package came to me the week we were packing up to move into this house. So I... It was... I've had this stuff for a little over a month. And I just started to play around with it. So I don't think I pulled everything out that she gave me. I know I am missing quite a few things that she had gifted me in this package because I just put everything away just to get started and I don't remember what it is. I don't remember. There was just so much. I couldn't believe it. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with her package. So first and foremost, I know that she sent an it cosmetics powder that came broken as well as um, another product, another powder highlighter. Uh, th those two came broken. I know that the It Cosmetics one and the other powder that I'm about to show you traveled with me to this house broken. Unfortunately, the It Cosmetics one had met its end when we moved here. It shattered even more all over the floor outside. So I could not repress that one. I'll show you a picture up here if you guys want to see what I meant. It's, uh, it broke my heart because I really wanted to try it. And it was already broken and then it just met its... And in this house, unfortunately, quite a few things that I have brought over that are in my personal collection came here broken. So oh, some, sometimes you just want to get into your house and things, things come to an end because you're just dying to get in here. But anyway, the other product that she sent me was this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. Now this came broken, but I did repress it and I have been using this nonstop. Now, I, you guys know what this looks like. I don't, I'm not wearing it today. I decided to finally change it up just because I've been using this constantly. This was something that I couldn't believe that she was willing to part ways with. I love this highlighter and to give it to me on top of that, she's just so sweet. The other thing, you guys, this is the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. If this did not work for her and I was dying to try and I know how expensive this can be. Obviously, I'm not going to swatch this because this is like not 
going to be noticed. Look at that. Wow. You could see the smoke coming up from this. I am super excited to try this out. Uh, I'm going to try to swatch things for you guys. So this might be a very long video. Just a fair warning. Might as well get yourself a glass of wine or something. Two single shadows that she sent me. I think these are the two. Uh, I know these are the two, but I don't know if there was more. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Paints in Caged. I do not own any of these. So I am super thrilled to have this in my collection. And wow, that is stunning. Look at that color. That is beautiful. And the other one is uh, a L'Oreal Color Infallible in Tender Caramel. Now, I believe that... Um, other countries have different names for them, so I don't know what this one, maybe bronze taupe, I'm not sure, but that's what that one looks like there. So, and I love these, so I'm definitely going to get use out of these. Then she also sent me this uh, deluxe sample size uh, Stellar Cosmetic Face Powder in Haze. So I haven't opened this up, so she is definitely adding to my powder collection here. She did send me, and I know there was more eyeliner, I just can't remember what they were. I know one was Paya Deluxe Sample Size, but I don't remember if it was a blue or a purple. She sent me also this Marc Jacobs um, Ultra Skinny Gel Eyeliner, oh my goodness, in the color Covert, and this color, oh my gosh, look at that green. I love this color and the thinness of it. This is just amazing. This one, I was so excited. Then she also sent me two lip liners. I panned one of these last year, so I know how these are, and I love the formula. The first one is Jilted, which I think I own the lipstick of, and then Turn On, which is the other color. So those are the two colors right there. Super excited to test out these. I'm going to try to wipe these as much as I can because I don't want to dirty out my shirt. Then, you guys, I know there's a lot of other lips, lip products. I just can't remember. I know there was a Bare Minerals. I can't remember the name. There was a Too Faced Melted Lip one. There was a Laura Mercier one. I don't remember the name of that one either. I know there was a full size one. There was one full size Smashbox one. I may have it. It's somewhere. I know I have it somewhere, but I know definitely this was one of them because I have this on my desk. This is C211 from Makeup Revolution. I mean, Makeup Forever. Look at that color. Oh, this is beautiful. I might wear this one next. So that's why I have that one out. I know she sent that. Oh my goodness, what other thing did she sent me? Uh, Urban Decay one. Oh, there was a ton of uh, deluxe sample size lipsticks. And I love that because I don't go through lipsticks that often. So thank you. I'm sorry. I don't remember them all. It's been over a month and I can't remember all of the names. Then she also sent me the package that came with this Vasanti one. It came with the brush that I am constantly using, by the way. Where is it? I just used it today. Here it is. It came with this brush right here. As you guys can see, I've been using this nonstop. I love that brush. It also came with eyelashes that I know they're somewhere. And this. I have the original one that Lisa sent me and then she sent me hers. And now I can see why she says that this one isn't as vibrant as the one that Lisa got me. The one that Lisa got me is a lot more potent, a lot more vibrant, but this is also really, really pretty. Like it's not as metallic as the one that Lisa got me, but I can still see myself using like that center one is gorgeous for like um, doing what I did like a halo look I think it'll look really really pretty so I have that one that she also sent me she sent me my very first Mac quad this is the Mariah Carey quad she didn't want it she wasn't using it it's called it's everything uh, oh here it is so it has diamond butterfly give me all twinks and image of rapture these are the four colors that are in here you guys I I, I was shocked when she had asked me if I wanted any of these because I couldn't believe look at these colors here oh my goodness gracious I'm so excited to play around with this I've never had a quad before so that is new to me then you guys these oh, she sent me two Laura Mercier caviar sticks in amethyst and rose gold I am dying to wear these. Dying to wear these. Oh my gosh, I have so much glitter on my hand. So this is obviously amethyst here. 
And we have rose gold, which is right there. Can you guys see that? And then the last things I remember her sending me, oh my gosh, Dre, I'm sorry if I don't remember. She sent me four shimmer and glows from Stila that she was not going to use and one glitter and glow in the color Perlina, which I did not own. This color is to die for. So let me quickly swatch these. This first one is called Boheme. I don't own any of these. These are my first ones. Oh my Lord. This is stunning. Then this one's Freedom, which is that blue one. Oh my gosh, you guys. Then I got Carefree, which is like a pinky. Oh my lord, that's beautiful. And then I have Cloud, which is this purple. Wow. And then I'll do the Perla, which is gorgeous 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 look at those colors so these are these oh my gosh you guys if you guys want me to do a tutorial you know make a uh, play date something let me know and I'll be more than happy to use all this stuff with it so thank you thank you thank you thank you Drea I know that she said that she didn't tell me I had to show anything on camera but I wanted I already thanked her a million for all this stuff like she didn't have to and then on top of that, she's sending me a Christmas gift. So this was just more than plenty. She didn't have to send me anything. Her friendship is amazing. Like she, what you see on camera is what you get in real in real life. Like she is the sweetest person ever. Her and Lisa, I'm telling you, I love Canadians. Her and Lisa are just my favorite people in the whole wide world. I love them to death. So now that you have seen what Miss Drea has sent me as a surprise, I want to share with you guys now this big old box so I'm just gonna randomly grab things first and foremost I was one of the worst eyeshadow junkies ever because I had not owned any ColourPop single eyeshadows I only had purchased their palettes just in 2018 so I never really tried their single they had a sale where you made your own palette where you got the palette you were able to get 16 shadows something or other where it came out to be so inexpensive so I ended up making two because I couldn't help myself and I picked two different ones so they're super cute this is the first one that I made oh my gosh I got pretty nice um I don't know all the colors you guys um these are all the popular shades basically as you guys can see glass ball um, I don't know all the fun colors that everyone kept talking about I finally got and then this one is my more wearable neutral shades like even even this is still beautiful like I love it I love it so I now I officially am an official eyeshadow junkie because I finally picked that up I also um, there was a gift with purchase for um, an indie brand now I have spoken about them in the past I have purchased two highlighters from, they only sell four highlighters at the moment, and I had purchased two of them in the beginning when they first launched, and I remember Lisa purchasing some from them as well, and there was two other ones that I really wanted, so I ended up purchasing them, and there was a gift with purchase, which was this beautiful box, they're Moonplay Cosmetics, if you guys have not heard about them, these are pretty expensive, but you get so much, like I can pour some in a sifter and send it to Drea and I still will have more than plenty to last me until I die basically. So let me show you the two colors that I got. I'm not going to open these up because these are loose highlighters and I just don't want them to get everywhere. Look at the beautiful packaging of these. This one is in the color My Vamp which is like this pinky shade. Absolutely beautiful. And the packaging of these is so beautiful. Like they really do it really nice. I I enjoy them very, very much. Then the other one that I did get is beautiful as well. They're all so pretty. This one is called Lady Goldfish, which is this duochrome peachy gold shade that will look so pretty in the summertime. This one, these two I've been eyeing for quite a while. And again, I'm not done with showcasing my indie brand, so I'm going to definitely showcase both of these in a um, in my series that I had started last year. So 
prepare yourself for these two because you will see them. Now, the other things that they sent me, they sent me this extra because there was like a, an issue with the ordering. Oh my gosh, look how soft. <gasps> this feels like a bunny. This is so soft. Oh my gosh, I gotta hide these from my kids because they're gonna take them and play with them. This feels so soft. Oh my lord, this is Ah, uh, so they sent me this brush because we were having issues when I was placing my order and she felt terrible. The owner felt terrible. So they sent me this extra, but the actual gift of purchase was this. This is their brush set. And I have been waiting patiently to open this up on camera because I did not want to do it on my own. So it comes in this beautiful box. Look at this. I haven't even opened it. Just waiting patiently for you guys. And then we get this whole entire brush set, you guys. And this was a gift with purchase. Oh, and they're just this soft. Oh my gosh, you guys, seriously, if you have ever pet a bunny or a chinchilla, oh my gosh, these are so soft. And they're my favorite colors, you guys can see. And it comes, it came with a little bag so I can put them in. So that was a beautiful gift. I think this was called like the Antoinette. A brush set or something so that's what I got from um, uh, moon play cosmetics they are an indie brand that I absolutely love now I'm just gonna jump around here I'm gonna try my best now for Ulta obviously I, I had a bunch of things going on for Ulta because Lisa and Drea can't get things from Ulta at a relatively small price like I can so I bought a bunch of stuff for them for Christmas from there so I took advantage of some of the sales and I also got myself a few things this is the Melissa Michelle second palette that she got I have the first one which I never showcased on my channel but this is the second one it comes with a glitter liquid liner and then a sponge tip brush now these are the actual glitter can you see these are the, like the glitter kind here I know this is closed um, I don't want to swatch everything because this is going to take forever, but I just wanted to share that with you guys here. She also came out with a palette, like a face palette, uh, a lip duo, eyelashes, but I ended up getting this one too. And these two are the blushes, and obviously these two are the highlighters here. Again, if anything you guys want to see on camera, let me know. While I was there, I purchased some of these for the ladies, and I also got myself some because... I only had owned one and I didn't realize they came out with three more. So Essence came out with three new highlighters. This one is Be My Cosmo Light and this one is like a duo chromey. It shifts like gold green. I don't know if you guys can tell that on camera, but that's this one right here, which is really, really pretty. I actually like this one. And they're they're subtle shifts. So it's not like you know, seriously in your face. This one is Be My Space light and this one shifts like a pinky pinky purple very very pretty you guys these are so subtle that I, I think that and there's no glitter at all in these so I think that these will work so well for those that want that duochrome but don't want the glitter or the seriousness on your face and then the other one that I got is be my sunlight I kept hearing uh, so many people rave about this over the summer and I just wanted you know to not go crazy and pace myself but I finally got these. I'm telling you, there were so many deals this winter. It was ridiculous. This one's called Be My Sunlight here. They feel so soft. This one's beautiful. And I definitely probably would be able to get away with this one in the summertime. Not so much now. At least that one. So I ended up getting those. What else did I get at Ulta? This was something that caught my attention. This is the... Um, Ulta Beauty Get Glowing Multi-Dimensional Highlighting Palette. It comes with three creams and three powders. Now this is covered so I haven't opened it up yet. But these are the creams up here and these are the powders. Now I have heard nonstop, like this got so many great reviews and Ulta was having like you buy two get one free off of a lot of things. So I, you'll see a lot of Ulta things that I got here. So this is the first thing that I got. I want to test this out. Uh, I'm not happy that the creams are here, but this was so inexpensive that I was willing to give it a shot, especially because it got like five stars. It was something that kept getting good stars. This was the other one that everyone was raving about. This is the Ulta Beauty Stay Cheeky Highlighter Blush and Bronzer. And this, look at the packaging of this. Isn't this beautiful? 
Oh, so obviously you see these are the two highlighters, then we have the blush here, and then the bronzer. The, uh, I heard uh, this one had great reviews as well. The only thing that I heard was that the bronzer was a little bit light, so I probably won't be able to use this in the summer. I, I have to use this in the winter, but I heard that the highlighters and the reviews were stunning. The blush was amazing, so that's the other one that I got, and I think these two are already sold out by the time that you see this. Then I got this. This was the free thing. This is the Pink Diamond Ulta Beauty Illuminator. I had once owned the yellow gold, but I felt like that was too goldy for me. So I did get rid of that one. But this one is like a peachy pink, and that is definitely up my alley. Oh, yeah. This is more my style. If I'm going to pick, this is like a thicker formula. So if I'm going to choose something... Like this, you can see the pink there. It's like a peachy pink. It's really pretty in person. This is very similar to the Maybelline um, highlighter in Molten Rose Gold. Just that that one is a lot more potent, a lot more shimmery, I guess you can say. This one's more matte, but it's the same concept. So I know I'm going to like that one because I enjoyed the other one. Uh, and then these are the two, no, three more things from Ulta. Yes, three more things from Ulta. So this was half price at some point, and I've wanted to try this for a long time since I am getting more into cooler tone uh, makeup in general. And this is the Moonchild uh, highlighter from Miss Anastasia. So I wanted to use this mainly for like inner corner highlight for those days that I just wanted something not your norm and they're pretty they're actually a lot more subtle than I expected so I can see myself definitely using that. I, di I didn't want anything that was gonna be way too much because I know I'm not gonna use a true blue highlighter but I wanted something so I did I'm happy with this and my sister thought it was pretty neat too because she came along with me when I got some of these things and she actually liked this and for her she's very neutral and she liked that the other thing that she was like, yes, you need to get this. This is the Lorac Shine Bright Color Source and Light Source Cheek Palette. Now this palette, I mean like it flew off the shelves. So I was actually shocked that I was able to find one. This is the, uh, it's highlighters and uh, blushes in here so I love this I love the Lorac formula I have owned quite a few Lorac palettes that have been limited edition that are face palettes and they do it so well I love them all I have the Beauty and the Beast I have the Pirates of the Caribbean I have one that was called California Dreaming I love those palettes so this one I knew I was going to enjoy I'm dying to oh my gosh you guys if you could feel how amazing these highlighters are oh <gasps> Look at those highlighters. Wow. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Put on. Oh, that is stunning. So, oh my gosh, this is a good one. I know. I knew I was going to like this one. So, might as well just throw away the packaging now. Why am I saving it? I am returning it. And the last thing I got from Ulta was this. As you guys know, I purchased the one at TJ Maxx. And it was the Fair to Light. And I love the bronzer so much. This was half off during one of those 21 Days of Beauty or Ulta Hot Buys or something. So I ended up getting this at half price. And this is the medium shade. So I ended up getting the medium shade. Because I went through so many bronzers last year, I figured you're allowed to get yourself the one bronzer you've wanted for so long. I've wanted this bronzer since I bought the highlighters. And I finally got the Fair to Light, but I wanted the medium one because I know the medium one will fit better. You can't even see that. Like these bronzers are just so amazing. Bare Minerals, you get me every single time. I love this bronzer. This bronzer is up there with my Cover Effects. Cover Effects are my all-time favorite ones, and these come very, very close. Those are my very, very favorite bronzers. Now for the drugstore. Let's go to the drugstore. Oh, wait, no. I have a few more Ulta stuff. Oh, my Lord, look. I have a few more Ulta stuff. So this is the Snow Angels Dose of Colors one. I wanted this one. I still want their cool, pretty cool. But you guys have seen this, I'm sure, over and over. Like, I wasn't going to get this. This is just calling my name. Like, even with this shirt, this will look so beautiful. So, yeah, I got that one because, you know, I needed to get that one. And this was, I believe, on sale, too. So I did get that one. 
And then I ended up, you know how I was like buy two, get one free, and these were on sale plus a 20% off, and then they had a lot of points going on, and you know, I basically got this stuff for free. So I saw that Ulta had these, and they also had another, uh, like a foiled, cream foiled, or some sort of foiled eyeshadow, but they were all sold out online, and they only had like four colors, and I really wanted those, but they were all sold out, so I went and got these instead. These are the Ulta Beauty Glitter Cream Eyeshadows, and these reminded me of the Stila Glitter and Glow, so I wanted to try these. And some of these, like, these these four right here caught my attention big time because they're unique. They're very, very unique. As you guys see, some of these are like, they kind of like are a duochrome type. So this one is like a peachy gold. It's called To The Max. Let me see if I can twist these off for so we can, you know, play around with these. I'm going to need glitter everywhere. Okay, so let's see how these are. So you get that little doe foot oh yeah these are definitely oh these are definitely like it can you see that I just swatched it in the most awkward spot I just didn't want to get glitter everywhere can you see that oh that is beautiful now I'm doing this all awkwardness it's just beautiful wow this is definitely one that I would recommend. If you're going to choose one, this is a beautiful, to the max. It's a peachy, pinky gold. That, that fun color that everyone likes. Oh my God, yes. Let's try this one because this is the other one that I want. I'm not going to swatch them all, but yeah. I just want to put everything on my face today. Let's see. I should have opened these before. Sorry. All right, I'm going to swatch this in a better place. Oh my gosh, I'm like 30 minutes in. So here's this one. Can you see that? This is more like a white purple. It's beautiful though. And this, this one is not as opaque. I'm going to have to play around with these more. But yeah, definitely love those. Okay, so I had to pause the video, come back, because it was going to cut me off, because I've been filming for 30 minutes now. Now on to the drugstore. So I picked up these at the drugstore. These were the two highlighters that I was interested in. These have been sold out nonstop at my local drugstore, so I never got a chance to pick these up. So they finally were in stock, and I was like, you know what? Just do it. These and the other things that I'm going to share with you guys because people like to tamper with these stuff and I wasn't gonna buy one that somebody else put on their lips, touch with their fingers, cause it's just disgusting. Even though that my local Walmart has, come on, wet and wild, seriously? This one is called Air. Yeah, come on Alex, really? I got, now I got all the stickies everywhere. Oh, this is pretty. So I thought this was going to be more pinky, but it's more of a gold. And then we have Earth. They had water. They had fire, but fire is always sold out in my local Walmart, so I never got a chance. This is super gold. So you could see, I don't know if you guys can tell, but definitely Earth is more gold than air, but air still has some sort of gold to it. Now as far as Sephora, I ended up getting the NARS Ignited Eyeshadow Palette. This was one of the last few purchases I did before starting my low buy again. Um, but this I didn't pay full price. This was like the $25 of $75 plus I had that $100 uh, gift card situation going on. So I really didn't use my money in a way. You know what I mean. So I've always gotten these over the years, and this one was more purpley. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. So here it is. Uh, it's like a purpley, peachy palette. This is stunning. I have so much glitter on my hands, you guys, so I'm not going to swatch this one. I am definitely going to be doing looks with this. I It's like a tradition of mine now every year. NARS is formula I love. I'm still mad at myself that I couldn't get the NARS blush palette sold out and I didn't you know I didn't buy anything for the VIB sale it sold out during the VIB sale which sucked last but not least one of you guys kept telling me I needed to get these I needed to get these you're gonna love them please do a look so I promised you I did 
and here they are. These are the Violet Voss um, Fun Sized Eyeshadow Palette. I ended up getting Fruit Sorbet, I got Berry Burst, and I got B Macaroon. Now, I did not get the neutral one because I have too many neutral ones. Let me try to at least open up one of these. I'll do the fruit one. I'll open up the fruit one because this video is going to be way too long. <laughs> so, we'll do this one. Now, I am a fan of the Violet Voss formula. I know that some are not. I'm happy with this. This was one of the first indie brands that I really enjoyed their formula. So, oh my gosh, look at this. Isn't this so adorable? Oh, yes. I love these. Now, I picked these over the Sephora palette because, oh my lord, look at that. I barely put my finger in that sucker. <gasps> Let's do this blue one. Oh, yep. So excited about these, you guys. So, yes, I know that I promised the one specific young lady that I would do a look with these. I'm promising I'm getting there. Um, I forget which one you wanted. So let me know in the comment section which is which of the three palettes that I got that you want to see the look with. So these are the three that I did get from Violet Ball. So you guys, that's it. That's what I got. That's um, what I got before Christmas. Again, I really didn't spend too much because I used points. I used points on both ends. I used... Um, what was else? Coupons like crazy. So a lot of this stuff I did not pay full price for. I'm very, very proud of myself for what I was able to do with all this functioning. Now, you guys know that I am on a continuation of a low buy. This is the official low buy because last year I did one too. But it's more of like officially, officially. So a lot of these products, if you guys want to see in tutorials, makeup play dates, reviews, let me know in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to do that for you guys. I have plenty of stuff to play with, so I should not be complaining that I am on a low buy. And not to mention that I still have to share with you guys what I got for Christmas. So <laughs> that is it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will try my best to remember everything to link it down in the description box. If things are not available, I am so sorry. I know some of these Ulta stuff may not be available anymore because I know I had a hard time finding that one to get a second one. So um, thank you again for all of your support. I will catch you guys in my next video. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye, guys.